Good evening. It is around 2 p.m. Eastern time, and I'm just going to recap my trading for today. I'm pretty much done trading. In fact, I was. If you tuned into the pre-market video, um, I said that I was in, in a short trade, and that was my entry just there. Oh, let's get a better arrow. So that's my entry. That green, that little green arrow there. And my exit was 3R, 5R, and 10R. And how about that for an exit? Um, could have got a little bit more of us aiming for this, um, whatever that was yesterday. So that's a yeah, level from yesterday, that green line. But um, de decent entry and a really decent exit. Didn't have any drawdown at all. It was stayed green all the way through. Um, my entry... The criteria was basically my using order flow. I'll just get a screenshot. Okay, so this is the screenshot of the order flow. Um, we had 8:30 CPI news come in, and the, on this, this is what this is my left hand screen. This is one I stream also live, which is why it's live streaming right now. So I'm just using the screenshot I took earlier. So we had. The 8.30 CPI candle come in, we saw it sell off, and then it pushed all the way back up, and that is where I started to see some weakness um, on the order flow. One of the biggest things I watched for was this strong cumulative delta divergence. So the cumulative delta was decreasing, and at the same time the price was increasing. And so it wasn't enough for me just to go short um, when I saw this increasing and that decreasing, I was waiting to take my entry and I was looking for more confirmation. Uh, I started seeing it, the two minutes like curving over at the top here and so that's the reason then I was looking up the order flow. It was coming into a hourly level which I discussed in the um, pre-market video and that hourly level was 51.20 area, I think it was 51.20, 51.22 so it's coming into an hourly level and I'm gonna let me just grab my pre-market plan and this is my plan from earlier so I always put a, my pre-market game plan in I'm protecting screenshots um, I was watching let's go back in I was looking at 51 52 18 there you go so 52 18 to 52 20 it's the rejection area and I made a note that I'm currently short from this market, pre-market. Um, so, and obviously, I use um, I use a online application called TradesViz, which I do all my pre-market notes, and then I journal my trades afterwards. And during the trades, it's great software. And you obviously got, and I put screenshots in, so I know exactly what it looks like when I got into the trade as well. So you can see the divergence here. This is when I got in. A big divergence and it sold off, which is perfect for exactly what I was looking for. So anyway, that's the reason I was watching it. It's an hourly level in my plan. Um, this 52.20 area. And my entry, I was waiting to see some weakness by from the sellers. So here was the first sign of weakness. And we had just 11 interested, or any orders, 11 orders for, for on the ask for buyers. So there's no more aggressive buying up here. And then we had kind of like a smaller number here as well. And one thing that did stand out was these yellow lines show where the most amount of volume is in every candle. So it's like the point of control, a bit like a volume profile tool that gives you the line on the screen where the point of control is. So you can see we had five of them, one, two, three, four, five in a row. And so it's these which kind of convinced me that that was my area of resistance. And so my short was actually when I broke below these two point of controls so when I when I got below let's just change the color to red so when it came down below here I got in short which was literally at 22.18.50 I think it was 22.18.75 it was I was short and my stop was originally higher the day and I let it play out for a bit as soon as I saw the candle come back and then retest this point of control area, then I moved my stop from higher the day to 
that area there. So it was just above the, the top of the, that, that candle. And not once in the entire trade did I have any drawdown. It just kept going. Um, other areas of confirmation I was watching, we had more areas of weak buyers. Um, known that because we had small single digit, single digit, single digit, and not quite single digit, but low digit buyers. So there's no buyers interest in buying aggressively at those areas. And you can see the volume in the candles as well. And the volumes of the candles were about midway, midway, near the top. So it's kind of what you expect. And this sold off. This is, I don't think this even hit my 3R by this point. But the market sold right off. And the, what got me interested was when I saw this cumulative data divergence. The price was declining while the... Um, while the price was, sorry, the delta, cumulative delta was declining while the price was increasing. And so that was like an alarm bell. Um, I do, I annotate my screenshots every day, all my trades. Um, only the good trades I annotate because I put them into a trade database. And I talked about this earlier in my pre-market plan as well. And I have a trade database where I store all of my um, all, of, all the good plays, you know, like these, and I explain what I'm looking for. So later on, if I'm feeling a bit down or I'm not very confident on a trade, I can then just go through my trade database and just give me some confidence knowing that what I'm looking at is going to work. Um, if I can just switch over to my left screen, that's where I keep my order flow. Um, you can see, I'm going to go back a bit. I'm running this live at the moment, but I just want to show you the divergence. And you can see here, this is an um, increase in price after the 8.30 CPI, and we had a decrease of cumulative delta. And I was waiting, I was waiting around this area for the, this is a two minute candlestick chart on the top, and this is cumulative delta at the bottom. I was waiting for it to round off, put in a top and tail, which it did, and show a sign of weakness. And then if I just go back to 8.30 on the candles, on the footprint chart, almost there. This is um, 8.30. That's a, that's a big sell-off. And my exit. It, this is where I went short up here. You have the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, act, this acts as resistance. And it pulled back up to that area. And then it just continued to decline and went down. So let's just go back. Let's flick back to my main screen. main screen okay here we go so this is where I got in if you're looking at candlesticks pretty much nailed the top and my out was that's my 3R out that's my 5R out and then I had a 10R out that's my where well, I leave my runner um, didn't doubt it at all we didn't have much volume as well and it kind of looked like it was going to bounce around this area as a previous day level as well and that's it I was pretty tempted today when I saw this double top come in it wasn't really at my hourly level my hourly levels were down here at 50, 52 20 it wasn't really an area I really want to short but I was watching this area here for a possible short and I saw the pullback but you know what I traded well and there's no it would have worked in the end down to VWAP but that was, that was one trade I took today and it wasn't even in the market I was done 10 minutes after the market had opened, 9.30 candle, look at that, I was out of it just a few minutes later. So, short day, and even though I was watching this, I still love watch the market because there's still areas we can learn, I'm watching order flow when it starts curving around as well, and that's the reason um, I was keeping an eye on it, because I'm just trying to learn how the order flow works and where the buyers and sellers are, areas like this, and that's the reason I was looking to go short, but I didn't take it. I'm glad I didn't. You know, that I don't want to be over I know one trade or two trades is not over trading, but I've done what I set out to do today. I made my decent trade of the day, that's a decent ten R trade. And you know how many people say they made ten R on a trade. Um, but by watching order flow and just timing the tops and learning where the buyers and sellers are at the tops of these trades, then you can kind of keep your stops really tight and that was my stop there originally and that was 10R based on the original stop 
um, it probably even bigger because I moved my stop then to where that point of, those point of controls were, which was literally just above. So probably if you took that as a as your risk, your stop, then I don't know what this could have been. Was it about 50R? I'm not sure. But that's where I'm looking. And also, I didn't use order flow to get out. I just set my target, and I, I wasn't even I didn't even watch it when it took me out. I just saw it come down. I knew I was out. I was doing other things. And that's the good thing about it. You can do it. I know. 9.30 you shouldn't be doing other things when the market's open I think I was just replying to an email in fact I was annotating that screenshot that's what I was doing and I wasn't doing anything else apart from annotating that screenshot and I saw it got filled and you know job done did I have a bit bit of remorse when it kept coming down a little bit I was, I was thinking maybe I should have put my stop on there but then I probably would have thought maybe I could put my stop on the CPI low where I sort of ended no, not a bad day, 10R. And that's it, and that is again using order flow, cumulative delta, and obviously watching the price action and the volume. And that lets me nail the absolute tops and bottoms. And I'm getting quite good at it now, good at watching what to come. I think that's it really. Um, the market's just kind of in a midday doldrums or 2 p.m. doldrum now. Um, nothing really to trade so the volume's really low down here as well so that's it okay well hopefully you've had a good day's trading and you kept, you kept your risk tight as well and I will be back tomorrow for the live order flow um, sorry both for the low live order flow, flow which is currently live right now but also for the live pre-market video and in that video, I'll be going through um, all the levels again, um, the levels we're watching here, and hopefully get a decent trading again tomorrow. Okay, thank you for watching.